Signor Leonardo! I find in this letter that Don Pedro of Aragon comes this night to Messina! <laughs> I wonder that you will still be talking, Signor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What? My dear lady disdain, are you yet living? Is it possible disdain should die when she has such meat food as Signor Benedict? <laughs> courtesy itself must convert to disdain if you come in her presence. And then is courtesy a turncoat, for it is certain I am loved of all ladies. Oh. Only you accept it. <laughs> and I would I could find in my heart that I had not a hard heart, for truly, I love none. Oh, a dear happiness to women. No. <laughs> truly, they would have been troubled with a pernicious suitor. I thank God in my cold blood I am of your humor for that. I okay. would rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear that he loves me. <laughs> Are you good men and true? Yea, or else it were pity, for they should suffer salvation, body and soul. Nay, that were a punishment too good for them, if they should have any allegiance in them, being chosen for the prince's watch. <laughs> well, give them their charge, neighbor Dogberry. First, who think you the most desertless man to be constable? Who on kick, sir? Or George Sequel, for they can write and read. Come hither, neighbor Seacole. God hath blessed you with a good name. To be a well-favored man is the gift of fortune, but to write and read comes by nature. Both which, Master Constable? You have. I knew that would be your answer. Well, for your favor, sir, thank God and make no boast of it. And for your writing and reading, let that appear when you have no need of vanity. Thank you.